I'm James Santiago, and this is George Trips, and he's got four production fuzz faces right out of the Dunlop factory. That's right, and we're gonna, we're gonna play them through my normal test rig here. Uh, how it's working at the moment is I'm using a commander here on the floor to talk to this pedal switcher, which is gonna allow us to bring each one of the fuzzes on its own into the rig. So at any one time. The fuzz we're listening to is the only thing in the chain, so it's guitar, cable, fuzz, to amp. So that's what's going on there. They're all powered by batteries, which is the uh, Duracell Pro Cell down there. They've all got the same battery, and I'm just using the uh, pedal power stuff to power the switching stuff. And, and it's going into the other room uh, with a 212 cabinet loaded with the uh, Eric Johnson Eminent speakers. So Marshall to uh, cabinet. And I think it's probably time to start with buzzes. So. All right, first up, we've got the uh, Signature Series Bonamassa Fuzz Face. It's running a pair of uh, new old stock uh, Russian military germanium transistors. And uh, so it should have a nice warm kind of vintage arbiter -y kind of tone. And uh, got a couple of the old vintage style top hat knobs on it and a cool copper finish. Mm -hmm. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Next up, we've got the Signature Series Eric Johnson Fuzz Face. It's running a pair of uh, BC183 silicone transistors. Uh, basically, uh, in doing this one, we looked at a bunch of Eric's original 69-ish fuzz faces. So we kind of took that look with the taller knobs and you know the uh, BC183s, which are a little gainier. And we also bias this one quite low it gives it a sputtery kind of tone and that's what Eric really likes. Next up, we've got the Jimi Hendrix Signature Fuzz Face, uh, and it's using a pair of uh, BC-108 silicone transistors. Uh, basically, it's going to give you a little bit honkier mid-range kind of tone, and we use the uh, old kind of uh, late 60s, early 70s style knobs and hammer tone finish. Next up, we've got the uh, standard Dunlop JDF2 fuzz face. It's running a pair of NTE-158 germanium transistors. Thank you. 
Okay, I think we're gonna just play through uh, all of the fuzzes with kind of the same stock riff, a little bit of a chord with some lead lines in it, just so you can hear them all back to back. So, first up is the uh, Bonamassa signature fuzz phase. Yep, Bonamassa. We'll do EJ, Hendrix, and then Red Guy. So it's germanium, silicone, silicone, germanium. Awesome. Here we go. <laughs> Same thing again, this time playing a little higher up on the neck. Here's another one with some super high stuff, and then we'll play a lower uh, ranged riff at the bottom. Smashy, smashy, the smashy. little fingers and the, the strings. The, the tiny, tiny strings. strings. <laughs> All about virtual also, isn't it? That's right. Okay. Trembolos. Trembolos. Here we go. <laughs> Let's, <laughs> we'll do Let's start over. So here's another riff. We're going to do some high stuff on the tiny strings and then go down to the uh, lower register to see how it kind of farts out in a way. With the, That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. sort of the rolled back volume cleanup test so I'm gonna you've been kind of doing that already kind of doing that but we'll do it again because I'm crazy uh, some I mean they'll all clean up but some will clean up a little more well, sparkly well, than others due to the, the biasing I guess and the biasing the, and the transistor the germaniums will uh, like the bottom massa here this one uh, will clean up the best just because they're low gain germaniums <laughs> Okay, to be fair, I think we're going to go ahead and do one more pass, a couple of riffs just using a Les Paul, which uh, I know the Bonamassa was actually voiced for that sort of input anyway. So you guys know the Marshall is at a very loud gigging volume, so we're gonna hear the the speaker cabinet probably breaking up, get a little cone cry, a little uh, sort of uh, filter cap stuff from the the amp too probably when I play higher in the neck. So I'll just do a couple of notes that you can hear the amp sort of sing along with the fuzz, and then uh, see what it sounds like. One more. 
Okay, one thing you should notice there is there tends to be less of a difference when you're just playing sort of power chord stuff. Whenever you're playing chords, that you, you don't hear as much difference. And, and I think it's because they all have a real similar low end. We he should knows. do uh, some of his stuff, because the way he uses is dimed. You want to try that? Uh, okay, then we'll do that. Into the Marshall. Go. This is right. how Bonamassa uses his. With the Les Paul. With the Les Paul. <laughs> kind of set like that if I remember.